We have mountains, literal mountains of fly ash in the United States from all these years of burning coal. And it doesn't have much utility. And uh, uh, people have tried to put it into concrete, but what happens is when you put it into concrete, it'll leach out heavy metals and it ends up not being good. What we found is we could take fly ash, which is waste, a waste product, and we can take fly ash, flash it, and we get out something called rare earth elements. Three, two, one, flash. Because within coal, there's rare earth elements. Not a lot, but the coal is a massive amount of volume. Now you've burned away all the carbon, and so you've gotten you've got much less massive material, and you have all of this, these rare earth elements. Rare earth elements are the elements at the bottom of the periodic table. And those turn out to be, many of those turn out to be really important for our smartphones, for our, our computers, and mining those is a lot of work. When we flash it, that frees it up from these other inorganics, and then we can rinse them all out, and we get rare earth elements. So all these elements that we're seeking in the world, that we're trying to find in the world now, we have it all around us. It's all around us, and it's in our waste, called fly ash. It's always exciting to be able to take something from a research lab in a university, and then see it transition to a small company, and then start growing from there, and really tackle, in this case, big environmental problems.